welcome back to change your perspective hi everyone it's me again abio i am here i am okay all is well <laughs> right uh so many things has been happening and i know that this is usually what it's like when i start a video right but y'all it's been such a roller coaster motherhood has been an amazing experience but it's also a time-consuming experience <laughs> and Isaac is now 10 months old already I have a 10 month old he's almost one year already <sighs> yeah and you know it's been such an adjustment I've learned so much from being his mommy and I think that I really love this phase I think that the nine to ten month phase thus far has been my favorite stage out of all of you know parents thus far you know when he was a newborn that was hard uh but you know as he gets as he has gotten older it's been such an amazing um experience seeing him learn new things and just grow and develop and it's been amazing so that is one thing but also uh, my family and I we have moved to a new location <laughs> and so God has blessed us with a new apartment and we are just so grateful and thankful for what God has been doing in our lives and uh, stemming from that uh, testimony I want to share with you all something that has been on my heart for quite a, f a while some weeks now you know the Lord has been dealing with me they're just speaking to me about it right but he has been dealing with me concerning contentment and I would have to say that not long after we moved here which is it's been a much bigger space you're more comfortable you know it's a really nice space a really nice apartment and in spite of all of that you know I was really going through a time of just being completely overwhelmed with worry and stress concerning our finances and not knowing how things were gonna work out you know and I, I think I got to uh, like a breaking point where I was like you know what I'm fed up of this we have to do something and you know I feel as if I was really adding more of a burden and a stress and my husband you know to, we have to help us just figure out how do we increase our finances you know and uh, within all of that the Lord had to deal with me and one night I remember I woke up and actually I couldn't even sleep right I just had overwhelming thoughts I was it was just running through my mind you know it was just running through my mind I couldn't sleep and I felt in my spirit my spirit now activated and I began to pray and I remember saying I rebuke the spirit of discontentment and I all like you know when something just like breaks I don't know if you have ever experienced this but something broke over my mind and that is when things started to settle started to it wasn't better but it started to settle and then of all things for God to use right my husband did a sermon and within the sermon he was speaking about listening to murmurings you know from the enemy and in ourselves us murmuring and complaining right and just how much of that comes from listening to the words that the enemy is feeding us and y'all that convicted me it really really spoke to me and um i had to really face the truth that i wasn't being what is it i wasn't trusting god 
and the crazy thing is that in the midst of this blessing that he has given to us this testimony that we already have of him moving us here right of uh, and, and it was something that was prophesied to us right so we already knew that god was going to do this right and god did it and in the midst of that for me to still listen to these thoughts of of just being discontented with what it is i have this not being enough this not being enough of an example of god's power and god's ability to provide and god's ability to do what it is that he said that he would do you know and so i really had to repent and face the truth right and and also rebuke <laughs> rebuke the voices rebuke uh myself you know and stop listening stop listening to it and work on contentment work on being grateful for the now work on being thankful for for what i have right now work on just being contented right when it is that we are in abundance or we are in lack whether you know what it is we know what is going to happen tomorrow or we don't it doesn't matter uh the spirit of the lord just really had to speak to me and work on my heart and you know apostle paul would have spoken about this way he said that he knows what it is to to abound right and to lack I'm, I'm paraphrasing but more or less he was saying that you know he know what it he knows what it's like to have a lot and to have very little right and yet still in all of that to give thanks and to be content with what it is that he has you know he can do and we can do all things through christ who strengthens us and so that is my encouragement <laughs> to all of you all today no matter what it is that you may be facing right now i mean motherhood in itself is so overwhelming and it's it has these rights when you just you know show you know show or you're gonna make it really i've had so many of those days where it is that you know i literally am crying you know because i feel like i'm not able to do this i can't do this it's too much you know and i really sympathize and empathize with single moms out there who are doing this on your own is not easy it's not easy to do it even with a partner right and so my my challenge to all of y'all is to really put your trust in God in this season in this time of uncertainty in the midst of it all trust me god is more than able to provide god is more than able to bring you through that situation god is more than able right to make a way where there seems to be no way he's more than able to give you joy in the midst of pain he's more than able to give you peace in the midst of the storm and so i'm challenging each and every one of us because it's for me too right to work on being content and contentment doesn't necessarily mean that you limit what it is you desire right but it is focusing on what you have right now yes you may want more yes you may desire more right yes you may want to work harder so that you can get right more but also it's a hard condition work on being content with what you do have right now let's celebrate that let's glorify god in it let's magnify the lord in what it is he has done thus far and where he has brought us to and what he has brought us through amen <laughs> so i popped on here i have broken my hiatus right and i really do hope that i'll be able to be a little more consistent now that you know isaac is older right and sleeps a little bit longer now sometimes he does that uh, but i'm really gonna work on it because i really feel as if god wants me 
to keep making these videos and coming on here and encouraging people and speaking his word and his his truths you know so i'm really going to make the effort to be consistent with this channel all right i'm looking forward to your comments whatever it is that you all might want to share any messages that you want to share I look forward to every single one. I love you all. Uh, just a gentle, a small reminder, I guess, that you know I do have my first book that I wrote called Change Your Perspective. And you know, any of y'all who don't have a copy, just let me know, message me, you know, and you can order your copy. Or there is uh, an Amazon link to get it via Amazon. All right, so. For all of y'all and all of us here tonight, this morning, whatever time you may be looking at this video, no matter what situation you may be facing right now, today, yesterday, tomorrow, no matter what it is, perhaps all you may have to do is change your perspective. 